Has Mesut Ozil become a luxury player for Arsenal that they can't afford in the big games? Certainly he appears to have uh, struck a chord with Martin Keown, a man who knows what it takes mm. to be successful under Arsene Wenger. Where's the issue here? Is it Ozil not turning up in the big performances? Well, Ozil, as you know his strengths and, and it's the attacking side of the ball in terms of his assists and, and his goals. And it's not as though... Mesut Ozil has all of a sudden started to shun his defensive duties. I don't think he's ever done that at Arsenal. He's, he's never been that kind of player. But they've had the bodies in and around him um, to make up for that. And he's just provided so much in, in, in the attacking third that it's been impossible to leave him out. Now all of a sudden he's not scoring, he's not assisting as he once does, uh, as he once did. You, everybody's looking for, for a bit more and starting to pick holes in his games. Now, again, this is nothing new for Mesut Ozil, but we, Arsenal have been happy to accept it, um, given what he's done in the attacking third. Now you kind of find yourself not playing that well, him not providing as, as much, and you have Martin Keown questioning whether he's the type of player that Arsenal needs or, or can continue to carry. Can they make up for it elsewhere on the pitch, or is this just a fundamental problem with Arsenal that they do not have enough hard workers in their team to really challenge for the serious honours? Well, they have hard workers. You know, you've got players like El Nenny who only wants to defend. Um, you've got Ramsey who can come in and, and do a job that side of the ball, but oftentimes he likes to get forward as well. The trouble is when you have, um, when you have players around Mesut Ozil who want to get forward or aren't fully appreciating what his position and his, his lack of tracking back, then you can find it yourself in, in, in huge issues. Also, when you have an opposition who knows that Mesut Ozil is not going to track back and can put a player to play the, the defensive side to defend against Mesut Ozil, but then attack when he doesn't drop back, you, again, you can find yourself in problems. So this is an, an issue for Arsene Wenger to, to work out tactically. It's not just down to the player or just down to Arsenal, but you've got to figure out how the opposition are playing against you and fill those voids. Only one of his goals and one of his assists against the top eight so far in the Premier League. He was a big part of their Champions League group stage campaign. What an opportunity and what a test with Bayern Munich coming up on Wednesday in the Champions League for Ozil to go back to his homeland. Yeah, I'm, 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 again, I'm, I'm not sure that Arsenal are, are equipped to get the better of Bayern Munich, but as you say, it's a huge opportunity. And in a tightening race to the top four, which um, I think Arsenal may, may very well find themselves on the outside looking in, this is a time for Mesut Ozil to step up and prove the likes of me and Martin Keown wrong. A uh, massive challenge then awaiting not only Ozil, but the whole of his Arsenal team. Can he step up when it really matters? The Champions League coverage, of course, here at ESPNFC.com. Keep it here.